your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Monday, June 22nd. More deaths in Kansas City as the gun violence continues to get worse. Monday, a man in his 50s shot and killed in a house near Jackson Avenue and 16th Street. Witnesses telling police two or three other men fired the shots before taking off in a white or silver sedan. Police now relying on those who saw what happened to find those men. And a few hours earlier, police found the bodies of two people inside a home in the Northland. Police came to that area after people said they heard arguing followed by gunshots. Those three deaths come about 24 hours after another family learned their loved one was killed all due to gun violence. The deadly shooting in the 18th and Vine District early Sunday morning took the life of a young man named Marcus Stone. Police still looking for the gunman in that case. A 41 Action News I-Team investigation uncovers phony paperwork at Lawrence Kia, and now the Douglas County District Attorney wants people to come forward. Several customers telling 41 Action News employees at the dealership inflated customers' income on loan applications without them knowing. The District Attorney says the practice carries a $10,000 penalty for each violation. Here's Jeff Penner. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we missed most of the rain, but at least it's going to be comfortable. 62 tomorrow morning, 78 for the high. A nice summer day, northwest wind 5 to 15. Partly to mostly sunny and warmer, slightly more humid on Wednesday, 84 after a low of 60. And then on Thursday, a few thunderstorms are possible, warmer and more humid with a high of 88 degrees. As we look at the seven-day forecast, 90 on Friday, 88 on Saturday, slight chances for thunderstorms. Hopefully, we'll be able to increase those chances as we get closer to it, but right now, it just doesn't look like it, but highs generally upper 80s, low 90s, lows in the 70s. So some typical early summer weather in Kansas City. You can get your news and weather anytime on KSHB.com.